Hello everybody, how are you? Happy Monday. David DeFranco here from GearPop.com with a long overdue tech survey. This is basically where you guys can email me, message me, tweet me, whatever. As long as you link to it appropriately, um, any surveys relating to my videos, you know, technology, whatever, then there's always a chance I will answer those surveys in videos such as this one. And today's survey comes from Lucas Rudy, otherwise known as Computer Lucas. His YouTube channel is at youtube.com slash Computer Lucas as well. He's also on Twitter, twitter.com slash Computer Lucas. So huge thanks to Lucas for sending in this survey. His links are right below. That's just my way of showing my thanks of actually taking the time to send me this awesome survey because I got to say, they're really good questions. And speaking of the questions, let's just jump right into it. Okay, so there are 20 questions, so I'm going to try to go through these as fairly quick as possible, but also give good answers, not too short, because you guys know me. I love to talk. All right, question number one. What is your favorite Apple product? Well, I got to say, I don't care if it's Apple or whatever. I don't particularly like to play favorites. I'm just not a favorites kind of person, because there's just so much good stuff in this world to enjoy. So it's really, really, really difficult, for me at least, to pick a favorite. But I will say one of my favorite items one of my favorite, not my favorite, one of my favorite items by Apple is easily the Apple TV. I use it every single day. Seriously, whether I'm watching the Office reruns or the new episodes of The Walking Dead or catching up on Parks and Recreation, I love my Apple TV. I use it every single day and in my opinion, I think Apple undersells it. They really need to market that thing better because I think it's a great device, especially for 99 bucks. It's awesome. So if you like Apple and you like HD content and you love streaming Netflix or whatever, Look into it, trust me, you'll, you'll most likely love it. I know I do. Question number two, which version of Mac OS X did or do you enjoy using the most? Well, I love Lion on my Mac Pro, but I also love Mountain Lion on my MacBook Pro. I gotta say, Mountain Lion is genius work, seriously. I love how it syncs to iCloud, my documents and everything, between, you know, between my iPad and my uh, MacBook Pro in terms of notes and everything. That is awesome. I love when stuff just works. But one of my favorite upgrades was from Panther to Tiger, because as you know, Tiger introduced some awesome features such as Spotlight, Dashboard, and Exposé. I think Exposé came in Dashboard. I don't think it was in Panther. It may have been, but I'm pretty sure it was Tiger. Either way, I use Spotlight all the time. I use Dashboard all the time, and I use Exposé all the time. I seriously cannot imagine a world of OS X without those three features. Hey, I love them. All right, Dave, let's speed up here. We're only on question three. Do you prefer using a mouse or trackpad? Oh, definitely a mouse. Number four, 10-inch tablet or 7-inch tablet? It depends on the device. This is obviously a 10-inch tablet, more specifically 9.7 inches, but I really do love the iPad mini's form factor, but that's the thing. I don't really like the iPad mini that much as of now. Perhaps I'll make a future video on that soon. Question number five, do you think you could go an extended period of time, four to seven days, without two monitors? Oh. Yeah, I could. I mean, I don't prefer to, but I did make it through two years of uh, college only using one monitor. Yes, it's painful, and back then it was only 20-inch monitor. Now he's 23 and 24 inches. And honestly, I can't imagine my workspace without them, but if I had to survive without them, which I just did recently, I was watching the pets because my parents were away on vacation, um, and I only have my MacBook Pro screen, then yes, I can get by, but honestly, I really don't prefer to. Question number six. What are your thoughts on iTunes 11? Nothing really, because I have yet to use it. I don't like giving my thoughts on things I haven't personally used, but I will say I'm excited to check it out because it looks like a fresh, new, clean interface. Just Apple has unfortunately delayed it, but I'm kind of glad they delayed it uh, because apparently they're delaying it to make it better. Um, I'd rather them delay it and make it awesome than put out a crappy product than improve it over time. So that's just my way of thinking. Question number seven. If there was one thing you could change about YouTube, what would it be? live streaming. Enable live streaming for everyone. And no, I don't mean Google Hangouts, you know, the Google Plus Hangouts thing they have going on. You know, I activated caffeine. No, I activated, I didn't really, anyway. Um, basically, enable live streaming. I would love to live stream via YouTube, and the fact that those live streams automatically embed on my channel, that's awesome. So if anybody at YouTube is watching this, I doubt it, but or if, or if anybody knows someone at YouTube, please put in a good word for me. I would really take advantage of the streaming feature, and perhaps I will do weekly streams. Question number eight, which of the three consoles do you enjoy playing the most, Wii, PS3, or Xbox 360? Well, first of all, I put PS3 and Xbox 360 in their own corner, and the Wii and the Wii U in their own corner. So out of those three, though, I'll definitely say the 360. I'm a huge Xbox Live person. I love Halo. I love, you know, Call of Duty, Modern Warfare, uh, Black Ops, all that good stuff. I just love the 360 experience. I personally think 
the Xbox 360's controller is much better than the DualShock or the 6 axis, I don't know, whatever they're calling it nowadays. Um, but in terms of more interactive gameplay, I definitely prefer the Wii uh, because of the, you know, classic Nintendo franchises like Mario. So again, two completely different worlds. Nintendo is more casual slash classic gaming and Xbox is more, well, hardcore online gaming, which I really do love. Question number nine, and yes, I realize my heat just came on, but hey, it's getting cold in Jersey. Number nine, do you like the idea of installing multiple multiple operating systems on a Mac? Yes and no. Um, I've installed Windows 7 on my Mac Pro before, but that's the thing. I never used it. It was maybe for a day or two, and then it kind of got old. I don't need Windows in my life, so there's no real reason to do it. But I will say I'm very, very, very interested in checking out Windows 8 someday. I'm hoping I can find some kind of sponsor or a person or whatever that can, well, sponsor a Windows 8 computer. I mean, I really want to get my hands on Windows 8, but I got to be honest, I don't really want to spend the money on that right now. But if there are any companies out there looking for notebook reviews or desktop reviews, please contact me. My link is right below. Number 10. What is the next upgrade you hope to do for your Mac Pro? Probably a hard drive. Number 11, desktop or notebook computers? Definitely desktop, I, you know, I gotta get those upgrades. Notebooks are great, they're definitely much more powerful nowadays than they were years ago, but the Mac Pro, I love my Mac Pro. Sure, it's outdated, but I love throwing in anything I can as long as it's compatible. Question number 12, how much hard drive space do you currently have in your Mac Pro? I don't know the exact, but at least three terabytes, maybe four, something like that. Question number 13, will you be getting another Mac to replace your Mac Pro anytime soon? No, uh, mainly due to financial reasons. I simply can't afford to drop a couple grand on a computer right now. Uh, but trust me, it's definitely something I've had on my mind for the past few years. I got this thing in 2007. Christmas of 2007, I think. Was it 2007? I think it was. Either way, I've had this thing for at least five years, maybe six, seven years. So it's definitely time for an upgrade soon but it's getting by pretty well. Question number 14, excluding iOS, what is your favorite phone operating system? Well, I barely used Windows Phone, but I gotta say, I prefer Windows Phone over Android. I don't hate Android, I just don't find the experience that pleasurable. It feels to me like iOS, but more clunky and fragmented. Just, just my opinion, don't freak out. Uh, but over Android, I definitely prefer Windows Phone 7 or whatever they're calling it nowadays. Uh, because it's different. It's fresh. I love the tile interface and it looks like Xbox 360 and Windows 8 and I love how Microsoft's unifying the experience across all platforms. Question number 15, do you think touchscreen computers will be a standard in 7 to 10 years? No. Question number 16, how much time do you spend on the computer average? On average? I don't know, it's technically my job so at least 6 to 7 hours a day, maybe 8, maybe 9, 10. It all depends on what's going on. Sometimes I'm out there on my MacBook Pro, sometimes I'm in here doing videos like this and then editing. For instance, Thanksgiving 2012 coming up this Thursday, that video is probably going to be an hour long. And while it's only an hour long, I always, I always, always, always sit through my videos at least two times to make sure I don't miss any errors. So that's a good example. So an hour Thanksgiving video could easily convert into three or four hours of editing. So that gives you an idea, plus Black Friday is coming up, and yes, I will be doing a video on that, which I'm excited about. So on average, I guess I spend an average work day's amount of, you know, Mac Pro time, so probably like eight hours, it's really hard to say though. Question number 17, we're almost done here. Which would you take on the go, a notebook computer or a tablet? It entirely depends on the scenario. Um, if I'm looking for more portability, well, I guess there's the MacBook Air 11 inches. I guess it depends on what I own. My MacBook Pro is 17 inches, so it's a little big. I don't see myself hauling that thing around, so I'll definitely take my iPad if I can get by on it. Like, I don't have to do any Photoshopping or anything. But if I do need Photoshopping in a larger screen, then I'll definitely take my MacBook Pro. Again, it entirely depends on the scenario and what I'm doing that day. Question number 18, wired or wireless computer peripherals? Definitely wireless. Wireless is pretty much to the point where we have excellent battery life and very low to none connectivity issues. That's a hard way of explaining it, but you know what I mean. I love my Magic Mouse. I love my Apple wireless keyboard. They're great. Question number 19, what is the next device you hope to get a hold of? Computer, phone, tablet, etc. Honestly, who knows? And that's kind of what's fun about it. And finally, question number 20, what kind of videos can we expect soon? Well, I said this a couple minutes ago, but I don't expect to go over that. Uh, but as usual, I have so many people asking, which I really appreciate. Expect all the usual holiday videos. This goes for Thanksgiving, 
Black Friday, Christmas lights, Christmas decorations, Christmas tree, and Christmas day. At least those. But this is what's awesome about my having my own place this year, guys. You will get all the usual holiday videos plus all the new holiday videos from my house right here. So yes, I will be doing my own Christmas decorations. I'll be doing my own, you know, Christmas, maybe wrapping videos. Well, I, I doubt it. I don't, uh, we'll see. We'll see. That's what's so great about the holidays. You guys are going to get a crap load of content. Trust me, I can promise you that. You're going to get all the usual videos plus the new videos that you wouldn't normally get if I still lived with my family. So that's basically the best way of explaining it. And yeah, my heat shut off. So okay, guys, that is it. I'm talking rather fast, but hey, it's Sunday night. I'm trying to get all this work done. I have a busy week up ahead in terms of work and holidays and all that good stuff. But anyway, guys, I hope you had an awesome weekend. Stay tuned for, again, plenty of holiday videos and hopefully an iPad mini related video. I have to go on a rant, sort of. I might do that. I'm not sure. But either way, stay tuned for plenty of content, guys. Thank you so much for your ongoing support. And don't forget to check out GearPop.com. Oh, and huge thanks um, again to Lucas. Lucas Rudy, right? I don't want to mess it up. Lucas Rudy, yes, for sending in a survey. Um, and if it's okay with Lucas, I'm going to copy and paste this survey in the video description right below. So if you want to take this uh, survey and other videos, feel free to. Just, you know, obviously be sure to get Lucas full credit because without that survey, that video wouldn't be possible. All right, I'm talking fast, guys. Thank you so much for your support again. And I will see you in my next, well, video tomorrow. Yeah, peace, 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 peace.